Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Arell. I'm uh, I'm here in California driving down the road, and I just wanted to uh, check in to let you all know my gender pronouns. Uh, so because I'm a circumcised man, I actually don't identify as male. And um, in, in, in one sense, this is kind of like a, a, a social justice strategy, you could say, um, to raise awareness. But it's also actually completely 100% true. I don't consider myself a male. I don't feel I'm a man. I, I, I completely don't identify as a male in terms of my personal identity, actually. But furthermore, um, physically, I'm actually not a male. I actually don't have the male sex organ. The, the most sensitive part of it was cut off as a child, mutilated without my consent. And so uh, my pronouns are actually Moo, Moom, and Moos. Um, so Moo would be like he, Moom would be like him, Moos would be like uh, his, if we were comparing it to male pronouns, for example. So that's, if, if you ever refer to me, I just want everyone to know, um, Moo, Moom, and Moose would be my correct pronouns. Not he, him, and his. That would be a violation of my identity and would be, um, would be an affront to me because you're not recognizing my identity and you're, you're literally invalidating my experience of mutilation and acting as though it was okay that I was mutilated as a child which completely ruined my life and destroyed everything that I am and that I love and care about as a person. I am, tr I am truly a demonic entity, um, kind of like a cattle figure, I guess. Um, it probably could stand for something. I forgot. Mutilated something something. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> I had something and I, I, I forgot what it was. But anyways... My pronouns are Moo, Moom, and Moose. Feel free to use this if you want. You know, I think if every uh, mutilated man used the pronouns Moo, Moom, and Moose, we would, we would start getting some, some notices pretty quick because it's an interesting, uh, interesting thing. I feel like cattle. I certainly feel like, uh, you know, not a goyim because, you know, most goyim, as, uh, as, as the Jews would refer to non-Jewish people, as cattle would actually not be circumcised and that would be the defining feature so it, it kind of actually doesn't fit in that way I guess but uh, I feel like I'm treated as as an as an animal and I don't feel I don't feel human actually so moo moo and moose let me know what you think of this talk to you later